What is up? Hold up. Hold up. Wait. What is up? What is up? What is up? This is George I. Courtright, and I am back. We are back again with a mad week. How you doing today? How you doing this week? How is everything in your life? I'm all right. I'm all right. I ain't even gonna lie. I could be better, but I am all right. But one thing that is making me happy is that I have a guest this week that I am related to by blood. Who are you? I am Etta James. Etta James. Not the Etta James, but a Etta James. Yep. My Etta James. My, <laughs> my auntie Etta. <laughs> Still ain't take, took you to that uh, restaurant no, yet. you haven't. So no, we get, you there's haven't. a restaurant in Scottsdale called Etta and told her I was going to take her when it opened and that was about a year and a half ago. But, uh... We... I done had a couple birthdays since then. Yep. A couple, huh? Yeah. Alright, so one of these birthdays, <laughs> she gonna get up there. She gonna get up there. Um, Since the last show, what has happened? Uh, Since the last show, Thanksgiving has happened. Uh, I had a good time with yeah. family. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. Y'all owe uh, me alcohol. Oh, damn. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. We play uh, a game with dominoes, and uh, we bet bottles of alcohol. I owe my cousin another bottle of alcohol. I owe my aunt a bottle of alcohol. So, yeah, all the losers owe the winner a bottle of alcohol. So, anybody pay you up yet? No. No. <laughs> So, how many bottles? Like, exactly. You're going to get several <laughs> bottles and uh, dinner at Etta's for your birthday. <laughs> now, I'll get it to you uh, within the next three weeks. Uh, so, we had uh, Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, and then the next day I was off. I went jet setting. Everybody says uh, I don't be home that much, and sometimes it's true. Yeah. Uh, I had business to take care of. Um, my buddy is the head coach at, um, oh shit, uh, pause it. Nope, 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 nope. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> this is my show. I get to do what I want. <laughs> uh, just had to uh, make sure all the stuff was in place uh do the little minimize on the no on the all the left 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 screen the other left. left yeah exactly and that uh take down the um the front like top on the top on the left screen top right hand corner minimize do you she don't know nothing about no computers there you go you got so many screens <laughs> All right, back to this professional ass TV show that we're doing. Uh, I have some business to take care of because my alma mater, which is Augustana, I went to Augustana College, is actually Augustana University now. They made the Division II playoffs in football. Woo -woo. I used to be a football player there, so it was cool to go see them. They made it past the first round, uh, so this was the second round. And they were going to be playing Colorado School of Mines, who just so happens to be head coached by one of the players I used to play with at Augustana. So uh, my buddy Pete is the head coach going against my alma mater. I flew up to Colorado, made it happen because I don't know how often that's going to happen. So I thought it was dope for that to happen. So I had to go hang out. Uh, it was cold. I'm sure. Um, it snowed a little bit the night before Oof. and a little bit during the morning <laughs> of the game. Colorado. It is Colorado. But, you know what? I had to do what I had to do. So, uh, went up. Augustana got smoked. 
Uh, <laughs> that, it was deal. like uh, 16 to 50 something or something, something like that. Yeah, that was a that, good ass whip ass. That's, that's neither here nor there, though. <laughs> you know, they, they got to the second round. I don't know if we ever got to the second round before. So, good job. Uh, that was an accomplishment, and we, hopefully, we can keep doing it again, even though that uh, quarterback was a senior. Uh, but my buddy's team. They look strong. They they was undefeated. Oh, the whole, cool. So cool. they still, this 2023, they undefeated so far. And we're going to have to make sure to watch them. Uh, mm, that's going to be hard on the plane. But anyways, <laughs> ooh, I get free Wi-Fi on Delta. So I'll, I'm going to do what I can to watch them on the plane. Because I am <laughs> jet setting again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna uh, head off and go check out the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, get washed by the Arizona <laughs> Cardinals. See, I can't even say it with a straight face. I ain't gonna even say it. I can't even say it. <laughs> so, all right, everybody can't be the uh, world champion Chiefs, ain't he? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. We'll, we'll send my homes your way. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I will take it. <laughs> just just what, one, no, just wait, no, one day. No, 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 no. <laughs> you send us Mahomes, we'll send you Kyler Murray. No. And, and, no dude, that's not I, a good that, No, no. I'm, I'm going to call him up. My auntie said we can <laughs> have Mahomes. Sure give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> These billion dollars acquisitions all depends on what's happening on this show. Well, on a, a mad week, week 12, there was a transaction. Yeah, the train. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, there was a, a mid-season train that even after the deadline. Nah, it's all good. Um, so yeah, yeah, going to see my team, who ain't doing so well. Got two wins. Uh, well, we're better than, than Panthers. We are doing better than <laughs> Panthers. Uh, that's the only, the only people we doing better than. Um, so, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll be going places, try to get experiences before uh, the baby come. i let y'all know that got a baby on the way. Yeah, Damn, yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. We can't wait. Yes, yes. Uh, what you been up to, Ain't I ain't been up to nothing. I sit at home all day and watch TV with your mama. <laughs> oh, you talking about my mama? Yeah, I'm talking about your mama. Uh, yeah. So they watch her sleep while we watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> watch her sleep while y'all watch TV. Yeah. Oh, did y'all ever watch the uh, what's that? The uh, Squid Games, that Squid Games TV show? Most likely not. No, nope. it was on YouTube. Yeah. Nope. Uh, you watched it, Ira? Yeah. All right. So there's a, I think it was like it's Korean or something. Yeah. Uh, Squid Games, and it's it's kind of gruesome. But it, it's a thinker. It's a thinker. It's about it uh, human uh, like personalities, deceptions, uh, choices, uh, honesty, uh, corruption, and all that stuff within the human psychology. And like, I don't do too much. They make me think. Actually, it's oh. not. It's not a thinker, but it's oh, a good no, movie. it's a it's actually it's, it's a TV show. It's a it's a it's a definitely thinker because. Uh, you tend to think about what you would do yeah. in that situation. Yeah, that's true. So, mm. based on that TV show, they made a reality show based on these games because oh. there's uh, okay. these games that these people have got to go through and people die. But they're all uh, trying to... games, too. Yeah, it's like red light, green light. I think I saw the Avatar uh, new. Mm. What is it? A new show, the edition. Yeah. Inside oh. edition, they had some on there. On Inside edition about that. Yeah. So uh, in the TV show, they die, but obviously in the reality show, they just <laughs> make it seem like they die. Mm -hmm. But they make it so similar to the uh, TV show that I really like it. Ooh. Like uh, in the red light, green light, uh, if somebody moved, there was somebody picking them off with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in the reality show, they just have one of those like... Uh, Sniper lights? Mo no, movie. Those movie things, like when somebody gets uh, oh, the shot in yeah. the, the little pack. So yeah. they move and there's like a sensor and... 
Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, they fall yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah, fall awesome. down all dramatic. And then uh, they all, there's like 465 contestants at the beginning. Oh, wow. How did he see all those posts? No, it's, oh, it's like electronic yeah. and whatnot, like oh. technology. You know, they, they know if you move. <laughs> <laughs> technology, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I really, I benched, uh, you know, uh, t- turn that monitor, uh, the far right one down. Because I, I can hear an echo. Um, I I really enjoyed it that I binged all this on YouTube in like two days and realized it probably was just half the season. And oh. now I was mad. I was like, <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to watch the whole thing. Now I got to wait. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, the things, the things. Oh, <laughs> well, what a life I live. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, oh, speaking of the Cardinals, we're going back. Uh, Zach Ertz got cut. I saw that on the news today. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. 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 He yep. said he wanted to be gone. He so wanted to be gone, and uh, JJ JJ Watt was the one that released the information on his <laughs> on his social media. I don't know. I guess they good friends or something. But he wanted to get released to go to tender <laughs> to uh, possibly win something. Although his ass been on IR since October twenty first or twenty fourth. And he's coming back from an ACL MCL injury wow. from last year, Ooh, so it ain't like it ain't like he was doing too much <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, wasn't helping. I know, so, so you want to be on somebody else's IR to get a <laughs> just to get a ring? Just ooh, I got one. Participation. Exactly. <laughs> so you want a participation trophy? Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Oh, Deshaun uh, Jackson finally retired. Did you see that? No, I didn't uh, see that. I think he he probably did one of those uh, one day contracts or whatever, and he retired as a Philadelphia Eagle. So that wasn't even on my cards, but I remember that. All right. Yeah, uh, I do. I I had a lot of uh, sports on here anyway, but uh, I know my auntie likes sports, so and it's all over the place too. (laughs) Uh, You want the good, the bad, or the ugly? Let's go with the bad. The bad. Let's go with the All bad. right. We are going to go with Von Miller. Did you hear about Von Miller? Mm-hmm. Von Miller, a uh, defensive player for the Buffalo Bills now, mm-hmm. long time with the uh, Broncos. Broncos. Yeah. Uh, he has a warrant out for his arrest uh, for allegedly assaulting a pregnant woman. Oh, Whoa. wow. Uh, Dallas at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, police responded to a disturbance when uh, Vaughn and a lady were arguing. Uh, the two have been in a relationship for approximately seven years. Uh, the woman is six weeks pregnant. Reports state that Vaughn pushed and shoved, uh, was pushing and shoving her, ended up stepping on her feet, and she fell into a chair. Uh, it says he. Uh, all this is alleged. Once again, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, man, we we ain't saying we know shit. We saying allegedly this is what happened because we need to say so that. You allegedly just, know shit. Yes, uh, we allege <laughs> to know some shit. All right, so this ain't this ain't fact. Uh, people are innocent of the proof, proven guilty. Well, uh, that's what they say. <sighs> well, <laughs> on a mad week, you innocent until proven guilty. Okay. Unless I don't like you. Uh, so he allegedly uh, choked her for three to five seconds, um, which caused pain but not loss of breath. The, the, Basically, he shook her instead of choking. Well, I, I wrote in my notes choke because they said placed his hands on her neck and caused pressure. That's choking. But is it choking if they don't lose their breath? Nope. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so what? What constitutes as choking? Yeah. What constitutes have, a choking? Is choking? A hand around the neck uh, and squeeze. A uh, uh, hand around the neck, squeeze. You can still breathe, yeah, but, you know, but you're still getting choked. I take that. Okay. So, allegedly, he choked the shit out of her <laughs> for three to five seconds. <laughs> there was pain, but no loss of breath. All right. Uh, the woman was not taken to the hospital, but was treated for simple injuries. 
He just didn't choke a real good. He just choked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a real, that's a real good. Choke real good. That's when they lose the breath. He just choke real good. He was just playing. Yeah. Yeah. He was playing choking. Just play. Allegedly, he was just playing. Allegedly, play yeah. Allegedly just play yeah. choking. Pass me the Kleenex. Ow. Pass me the Kleenex. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can go off camera. Go off camera. Go off camera. There you go. Hey, <laughs> I got him back. Little technical difficulties, real quick. We back. <laughs> All right, so, oh, <laughs> this just in. This just in. I'm just gonna throw this in. Oh, did you put? I, I, I haven't been watching. Did you put Von Miller up? There is no Von Miller. There is a Von Miller. I don't see Von Miller. I was looking for Von Miller. There's no Von Miller. There was a Von Miller. Oh, I see him now. Oh, oh, see? <laughs> see? I know what I did. Show, show, all right. Show Von Miller at the end of the damn story. There you hey, go. Dang. I was searching for him. <laughs> There's Von Miller. All right. Do we look like a choker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> yeah. He ain't a killer, but don't push him. <laughs> uh, so, once again, we're going to try this again. Do, 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 do. This just in, because I ain't take no details, because I don't need no damn details. Because uh -oh. once again, this ain't no alleged shit. Uh -oh. uh, this motherfucker got, uh, got convicted and in jail for killing George Floyd. Derek Chauvin was stabbed in jail. Let's get stabbed dead in jail or just no, stabbed? No, just stabbed. Oh, okay. It says he's stable from his injuries. But round of applause for the stabbing of Derek Chauvin. Yeah, I know that's wrong. I know. What, what, what he did was wrong. Well, that's true. What yeah. he did was wrong. That's true. And this, I, they say two wrongs don't make a right. This ain't all, all the way uh, wrong because yeah. he only was stabbed. He wasn't killed. That's yeah. True. And it's so it's st it still ain't right. They just juke. They just juke. <laughs> Ooh, I ain't going to prison. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be broke if need be. <laughs> gonna keep my hands free. Gonna keep my hands off people. Ain't gonna choke them. Ain't gonna give them a good choking. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying out of jail. Shit. <laughs> All right, now let's let's go to. Eh, I don't know if this is good. We we back to the sports again. I uh, don't know if this is good, bad, or ugly. The Mavs have been sold. Mark Cuban sold. Well, they say sold and all that stuff. There's an agreement to sell, and Mark Cuban is still gonna own a minority stake in the Mavericks. Fifty-seven uh, percent. Of the Mavericks are going to be sold to the owners of the Sands Casino, um, like mostly in Vegas. Uh, I didn't see where all they had property and how much money they got, but they had at least three point five billion dollars. Damn. To pay three point five billion dollars, and you don't even get all of nothing. How are you gonna pay three point five billion dollars and don't get all of it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Payment plan. Damn. They put it on layaway. I'm going to put down a little bit. I'll come back next week. Yeah. Get more. <laughs> come back and put a little bit more. Damn shame. Put the Dallas Mavericks on layaway. Hopefully it'll be out on my Christmas. Because <laughs> they got a game. Exactly. Man, that's $3.5 billion uh, Cuban purchased. Oh, Cuban purchased the majority share in 2000. For two hundred and eighty-five million. Wow! So that's a come up. That's, yeah, that is a come up. I, I, I take that million. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 We yeah. don't need no come ups and give me a million. Man, that, oh, <laughs> that, just give me one of them. <laughs> just give me some that million. Uh, what, what, what's one thing you do? You already retired. You, it's like what, what would you now? Yeah, what would you do if you got a million dollars? What would you do? Like, what's one thing you do? Well, the first thing I do, I Make sure all y'all, everybody's bills paid. Ooh. And then How I, much of my bills? Then I'll be, I'll be a jet traveler along with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. how, how much of my bills would you pay? <laughs> well, it just depends. 
All right, I got. I, I got. See, I, I, see, I have to split it up so everybody can get a little bit. Everybody, huh? Well, mm. twenty three and me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. You no know people gonna say it might be your twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to have it, if you had to ask, most likely. Let's already unknown. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, that's that's some comeuppance for uh, Mark Cuban, big time, and Ooh. also uh, it says he will be leaving Shark Tank. Ooh. Don't need to be on there no more. I didn't no. watch it no way, so I don't No, care. I didn't watch it. I heard it was a good thing. I know uh, some of these, uh, like, starter like, business. yeah, starter Ooh. business are dope, and uh, you know, it, it, I heard it's a good show for entrepreneur type, type stuff, and I consider myself a entrepreneur, Ooh, so um, I should be watching it, but I don't. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, ooh, let's go. So, what would you call that a good, bad, or ugly sports story? For some billions of dollars, I say it was All right, good. That, 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 was, that was good then. It was some good for some billions. So, 3.5 yeah, that's billion good. That's dollars good. for the Dallas Mavericks. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and you said that. So, this, this is, I guess, kind of ugly. Because, once again, at a mad week, you're innocent until proven guilty. Well, Josh Giddy, uh, for the Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, is under investigation for improper relationships with an underage girl. Whoa. Uh, he looked like underage himself. Well, he's 21. Oh. Giddy is 21. He looked weird as fuck. <laughs> well, you seen him, though. He, he, he got game. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't watching Thunder no more. Once they got rid of my man, KD, oh, yes, I was yes, through so. with them. Well, yeah. I was through with them. But, but you still <laughs> watch. You, you, got, you have should have seen them. Like, when they played, I like, duped. All right. My bad. <laughs> Shit. She ain't seen them. Nope. My bad. All right. Well, who saw them was some people <laughs> on social media and saw them with some girl that they said was a junior in high school. Whoa. So it went up. Like this internet, but that, that don't necessarily mean she was on the age. She might just been a dummy. She, it, she could just been a what? <laughs> a dummy. She could have been in school for a while. Oh, she might not oh, been wow. seventeen because she in high school. She could have been nineteen I, or twenty. I, I, <laughs> I thought she was going to say she just looked young, but no, you said she a dummy. I said she could be. I didn't say she was. I said she could be. Because once again, here in a unmanned um week, you ain't a dummy until it's proven. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with this one, uh, the, the NBA is doing investigation as well as Newport Beach Police are doing investigation. But this all stemmed from uh, pictures and videos of him uh, walking around uh, with some uh, person, some girl, and people on the internet saying, oh, that's a high school junior. So they're doing investigations. But then when they was walking, was they hugging and kissing or were they just walking? Well, it says improper relationship. So, so they must have seen them doing something. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, you walking it, on me. Yeah, just because you're walking, <laughs> hold hands. Uh, he could be a big brother, big, uh, yeah, <laughs> big yeah, sister program. We don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, she could have been of age. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Or he could just be a creep. We don't know. <laughs> this is true. Uh, but Giddy is still playing. Okay. So uh, it is. It's. I want to see how. Like. Uh, put his picture up again. If you see the lack of melanin, uh, <laughs> and he's still playing. Yeah. Uh, no, that wouldn't be happening. Bring, bring, bring up uh, Von Miller. <laughs> Amid, among, uh, with his allegations, let's see if he's still playing. Yeah. You know, allegations versus allegations. Who's Probably playing? Not. What, what was, I was like, <laughs> who's playing and who's not? <laughs> All right. So, that's improper. You know what? All right. Yeah, that's on the ugly side. That, that, that's on the ugly side. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back to some more sports, but since... We talked about these other uh, situations. Let, let's 
Go go full throttle. Full throttle. Jeez. <laughs> Man. All right. I need to get ready. I got an audition I need to do. Uh-oh. Today? Know. By Sunday. Ooh. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got to figure it out. All right. Um, Diddy. Puff Daddy. Sean Puffy Combs. Uh, I, I guess we're going to call this on the ugly side. He is accused of raping and beating R&B singer Cassie over the course of a decade. Wait a minute. He's still beating on her? Oh, what? Still? You heard about this? Well, they when they first got together, well, when she first came out, there was allegations. And, yeah. An R&B singer that I never heard of it. A song from Cassie. Have you heard of a song by Cassie? Or? Yeah, a long time. I can't remember. Off my head, so, I, but yeah. She wasn't that special when it came <laughs> to the music side, but I, I've heard the name. I heard her uh, being related to uh, Diddy for relationship situations, mm-hmm. but I don't think I ever... That me and you, is that her? I think so. All right. Then we know one song. All right. Uh, well... Amit, what is this word that I just it slips um, amidst 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 the, these allegations? Uh, Puffy has stepped down as chairman of Revolt amid. <laughs> I got it written down amid <laughs> these allegations. Uh, so Puffy stepped down from his channel Revolt. Have you ever watched anything on Revolt? Never heard of it. Uh, the Breakfast Club used to be on there for a while, um, but they are on BET now. But uh, Diddy maintains his innocence, but will decide to resolve the matters am- amicably. I can't pronounce some of this shit. <laughs> Um, Stop using big words. Amidst. <laughs> that's not a, <laughs> a mid. Uh, I don't know. What, ugh, I hate that. Should have had a shot. I should have, but it's Thursday. I don't hey, tell with that be? I don't tell, well, well, I got a job to do tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So do I. <laughs> yeah. I usually don't drink on the weekdays. No. Usually. Um, <laughs> so, also, 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 he was hit with another lawsuit where a woman accuses him of drugging sexually assaulting and abusing her in 1991. Uh, allegedly, all oh, this is alleged, I ain't saying he beat Cassie. I ain't saying that. He's innocent until proven guilty. Uh, but with this other lady, he allegedly went to dinner, drugged her, went back to, took her back uh, home or wherever, raped her, recorded it, and shared the video with people we knew. This is allegedly. That's kind of stupid. So, uh, he just got hit with this, I think, last week it said. So, that's uh, strike two for Diddy. Ooh. Yeah, so, that a lot coming coming his way. Yeah. Diddy old. And <laughs> another claim has come in alleging Diddy and Aaron Hall Uh-oh. took turns raping her. And her friends between 1990 and 1991. So for the same chick. This this is a different chick. A different chick. This, this is a different claim. So Cassie, uh, suspect one, mm-hmm. then suspect two, two, as well as sprinkling in her friends with her. Okay. So uh, once again, I'm mad weak. You know, innocent until proven guilty. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that just chase money and try to do that stuff. Uh, just, hey, this person did this. They're trying to get some money from them, you know, some hush money or whatever. But then again, some of these dudes are pieces of shit. Some some of them are assholes. Yeah. So um, until they get th- their court or whatever, we don't know. You know, don't don't say that he did it. But don't say they lying. 
But that, that, I mean, if he did it, he need to be punished. But if he she needs to be punished, and if she didn't, they need to kick her ass. But they <laughs> they need to put something in place if these people are uh, like um, accusing others and ruining their fucking lives, yeah. and they get found out to be lying. They should be punished somehow. Yeah. But it, it doesn't seem like And that. most of the time, they don't even check. If a woman come and say, he raped me, then yeah. they snap. They like, don't... Uh, all they... Yeah. Mo- like, money's going to these lawyers. It's like That's millions just, and millions of dollars. And it be years and years and years ago. Uh, right. Uh, I mean, if he did it, then yeah, get it, him. But horrible. come on now. It's, it's horrible. But, uh, yeah, Diddy is in limelight. Okay. Is it limelight? I don't know. He, he, he's in the. He out there. He out there for <laughs> doing. Did he did it. Did he did it. Allegedly. Allegedly. Did he did it. All right. So. A mad week. A mad week. All right. Let's get into the lighter side of things because I ain't got that many. But oh, guess what? Uh, I'm a Pepsi person. I'm a Pepsi person. And you are? Mountain Dew. Which is a Pepsi product. And Pepsi is on the course to take over Coca-Cola as the number one beverage in the United States. Pepsi value is expected to be at $279 billion, while Coke is at a measly $277 billion. (laughs) Wow. Well, not yet. (laughs) It's expected to get there. Uh, This is due to expected stock prices where Pepsi is $203 a a share and Coke is only $64 a share. That seems weird. Hmm. But uh, what's helping drive that as well, Pepsi, I didn't know all this, uh, Pepsi is helped by subsidiaries, uh, a new Frito-Lay and Doritos, but I know they also own Quaker. Yep. No. I, ne- I never knew that. They own a couple of different things. Uh, so, and Coke is just beverages. But, I'm a Pepsi person, so when I saw that, I had to throw Pepsi in there. Put Pepsi <laughs> Give up. Give a shout out. Put Pepsi up. I like Pepsi way better than Coke. Pepsi, but, but the thing is, but what? Coke is around the world. Yeah, Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, Everywhere. Pepsi is too, though. Yeah. 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 A lot but of places it's have just, more Coke. Than it, but, they, yeah, they have a bigger presence. Yeah. Uh, Coke has a bigger presence in international. But, Ira, at one point, you was a Coke person. At one point. It, all right. At one point. All right, but it's, it, Pepsi is in the blood. Look, I, I, that's I, where I'm at. <laughs> I, I, like... I want to say it was probably like freshman year or sophomore year. Or about a year. Uh, it just, I just started craving Pepsi. My mom and dad both. I was going to say because your mama drank Mom it. and dad both, Pepsi people constantly, always had and whatnot. And yeah, yeah, I like to drink it or whatever. But so, college, I started craving it. <laughs> it was just in my blood. Call it caffeine. Yeah. It was like a crack baby. It's that burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's burn. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there. Oh, uh, I don't do documentaries, but there's that documentary on uh, Netflix uh, about when they had those Pepsi points. I, I know. Oh, I watched it. Uh, the jet one? It, it was like, Pepsi, where's my jet? Yeah. Where they... There's a commercial where if you get all these Pepsi points, yep. which I actually got a shitload of Pepsi points, and I got a CD and a, a beach towel. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker got enough to get that jet, even though it's supposed to just be a funny thing on a commercial. Yeah. They got enough points to get the jet, and they was like, Pepsi, where's my jet? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch the documentary, so I don't know what they went ever happened. All this to try and figure it, say that he didn't have the points, and yeah, they tried. Yeah, they tried to get him out, but then it's like it's a joke. You took it seriously, so did yeah. they give him money for it? Nope. Ooh, that's, that's, <laughs> he got Pepsi for it. It's a lifetime, like, supply. lifetime supply. I don't think it was lifetime. No, but yeah. <laughs> He got two twenty-four packs. <laughs> Damn shame. <Get> two liter. <laughs> well, he should have sued. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's good. 
interesting documentary. He should have sued just like the Knicks are suing the Raptors. Did you hear about this? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, I guess it came about uh, recently, but the Knicks discovered this in August or some some shit. Well, the Knicks are claiming former employee. Now this is a motherfucking name for you. Uh, Ikeguru. <laughs> Azotam, this guy right here, (laughs) (laughs) underneath the picture I put ex Knicks employee, (laughs) but uh, I-K-E-C-H-U-K-W-U is his first name, A-Z-O-T-A-M is the last name, Ikeku-Wu, Azotam, well anyway, Ex Knicks employee, uh, allegedly, because they're <laughs> once again at a mad week. <laughs> blah blah blah. Um, he allegedly sent over three thousand files to uh, his Gmail account after receiving a job from the Raptors. So he was working with the uh, Knicks. Uh, he got word that oh shit, got this new job. So he sent himself some shit over on the Gmail, and uh, the Knicks found uh, found out about it. Uh, the Knicks claim he shared these files, including play frequency, video scouting, prep books, and opposition research. So he's saying they're saying that he stole it and he shared it with the Raptors. Uh, the employee could be in violation of international. Wow. Federal and New York laws. Because hey. Toronto's in Canada. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, oh, international. Oh, yeah, cro- he crossed borders. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, which could result to uh, $5 million in fines. It didn't say nothing about jail time, but it said $5, five million dollars in she fines. Might, we're going to jail. Yeah, yeah. Like, can I do the time? I, got more, I, got more, I always say, I got more time than I got, got money. money. <laughs> you know it. Uh, the, the Knicks are claiming that it's $10 million uh, worth of damage, so that they're suing the dude, uh, the Raptors and all that stuff. But Ooh. the Raptors are... Denying receiving any kind of info from the employee, and they're gonna do their own investigation as well. Well, you know they gonna deny. Well, yeah, I think he sent it to himself. What? Well, yeah, did, but then well, he used it. He gave. He used it again, showing folks. So you don't know. Yeah. We don't know that though. We well, don't that's know what that. Say. It just like, well, he no, sent it no, to no. He said. He said the Knicks said. are claiming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he did. <laughs> the Knicks claiming that's what he did. We don't know. There's an investigation going on by the Knicks, by the Raptors, well, somebody and by the NBA. know he did it, didn't it? Uh, most likely, uh, you can, like, the company can see all the email transactions. So when uh, he left, they probably like went through all his emails, mm-hmm. and, uh, history, and all that stuff. See that what? Why are all these files going mm-hmm. to the Gmail? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that two week notice <laughs> that he gave right us, there. I was like, hmm, something ain't right. So right after the something two ain't week right. Notice. Yeah. Uh, so what? I, I don't even know know what it, they actually do with them. Uh, in the article that I read, it said the the Raptors was like, we don't even want the information. <laughs> said they gonna help us done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what your research gonna do? Right. We got different people, <laughs> got different schemes. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. So uh, play you like what three times a year? So uh, what's that gonna do? But yeah, uh, this is like the first time something like this happened. That one team is suing another team wow. in the NBA. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's big. New, yeah, new shit, new shit. All right. Oh, this is a follow up to a previous. Uh, uh, mad week thing. Pandas. They ain't going nowhere, y'all. Pandas is gonna stay in the United States. Well, 
It didn't say they was going to stay. But uh, China is supposedly sending more pandas. Chinese President Xi Jinping signed the... Oh. Signal that China will be sending more pandas to the U.S. Uh, This is as an envoys of friendship between the Chinese and American peoples. No, nah, them pandas get busy when they in the United States. They don't do nothing when they over there. They didn't have so many pandas been born over here. They like keep them over there. We can get the babies to come over here. This is this came after a meeting with Biden. Uh, the bears have been a symbol of friendship between the U.S. and China. But uh, shit. Show the one on his back. The party there. Don't that kind of look like Hamish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We laying down for a move. <laughs> so, uh, that's a follow-up. I know, you know, there was a sad thing. Oh, the pandas are going away. They're going back to China. Yay. But no. Uh, so they're they're, they're going to be sending some. I don't know if the ones that are here that were planned on going back was going back and we get different ones or more or whatever but uh it's not like the united states are gonna be without pandas supposedly supposedly we'll wait until xi jinping (laughs) make it happen all right long live the pandas in the u.s long live the pandas all right let's do some (laughs) speaking of long live pandas long live toys are us uh, it's coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in 2017, went <coughs> bankrupt. 2018, all the stores were closed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, it got bought back. Uh, somebody bought it. They end up putting. I, I didn't even know, but they put start putting like Toys R Us's in Macy's. I was oh. shopping Macy's, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. So they start putting them uh, in in there and still like selling online and all that stuff. But now they're gonna be putting twenty four stores like brick and mortar. They own stores out as well as in major malls, airports, and cruise ships. So they bring it Jeffrey back yeah, to Jeffrey. <laughs> Most likely, that, that's 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 what Toys R Us is. is the, the, the giraffe. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, in the Mason Day Parade. <laughs> this year? Yeah. Jeffrey, the, the drag? Yeah. Then, hey, oh, well, 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 <laughs> there you go. Ma- <laughs> ma- Macy's, so. The, so, so <laughs> that makes there sense. There you go. <laughs> Pe- uh, people were wondering, like, why the fuck Jeffrey did this? <laughs> <laughs> Then he go bankrupt in 2017. <laughs> he shopping at Macy's. Oh, <laughs> he trying to make some money in his... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of giraffes and pandas, what about these new animals? Have you ever heard of these new animals? Well, there is a new animal that was found in New Guinea. Uh, I think it was top, the top left next to the uh, Umad Week. Oh, okay. Uh, new animal, new fa- <laughs> new animal found in New Guinea. The Attenboroughs. Long beaked echinid, echidna, echidna, or something like that. Uh, it's named for Sir David, whoever that is. Uh, it has quills of a hedgehog, snout of an anteater, feet of a mole, and it lays eggs. Ew, it lays. Wait a minute. Yes. Uh, quills of a hedgehog. Yeah. Snout of an anteater. Yeah. Feet of a mole. Okay. And it, look like. <laughs> uh, that don't look like mole feet, but okay. Well, th- those mo- that that's mole feet. Okay, mole feet. And they lay eggs. That's what's throwing me off. It mm, lays eggs. This is well, the duckbill platypus lays eggs as well. Yeah. So, but it's sim. I don't know if it's related to that motherfucker, but it's because duckbill platypus is like a combination of all kinds of shit too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So. But this is, oh, so that that was one of several new species, animals or whatever that was found. They also found like a shrimp that lives in trees. What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to talk about that one though. A shrimp lives in trees. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all of it. 
What? That was too ugly to put, get a picture. <laughs> what shit like that? It ain't ugly. But that's all right. Somebody can have a pet of that. Look, put them back up. You you want to have no pet of that? No. Oh, I knew somebody that had a hedgehog. They don't look like no hedgehog, though. Well, it's a hedgehog. That's not With the, uh, the anteater, anteater and mold anteater. qualities. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Wait a minute. Y'all hating. <laughs> <laughs> what you will, but no. Alright, what else? Uh, speaking of food, <laughs> Chick fil A is testing drones. You know the story oh, about the drug yeah. drones? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Chick fil A is testing out drones uh, delivery in Brandon, Florida for free for a limited time. So it started November 13th. And it's gonna go for a little bit. They testing it out. So <laughs> if it drop your food in the yard. <laughs> yo, it was weird. It was. It's like uh, sh- show the uh, drone. Uh, I think it should be Chick Fil A or something. Oh damn. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one actually nope. look look next to Von Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer firefighter. <laughs> no, no. All right, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about him next. No. But uh, I thought I had a picture of it. But these are some like really big uh, drones. Uh, they don't even. I don't. They they could have made this so <coughs> much easier. But this drone still stays like three stories high. And there's like a little cable that comes down and oh, drops like a box. Somebody ripping off your food. Oh, tell uh, you. Your food is about to get gone. <laughs> it's it's, it's like one, one of those like claws like in the, in the, <laughs> the, little, game. the little game. Mm. So it comes down, drops it, releases, then goes back up. So, But the full drone is still it's up the, there. Mm. Why don't you just put them right there, make the drone go down so lower, just yeah. drop the shit. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, I guess there's some science behind it that I don't know. I don't know if I want a drone delivering my food. Why not? Yeah. It's dry. It's going through the air. It's going to be cold by the time it gets to you. It's going to be bird poop all night. <laughs> and, and bird pooping on drones. <laughs> That's yeah, what you hey. think. Hey, why not? It's in the sky. So? <laughs> right. Right. Poop on your car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't even want to talk about that. Huh? <laughs> that bit bird poop on the drone. <laughs> I, I don't know how that happened. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, but uh, I think it'd be cool. Uh, it's it'll, it's going to be weird as hell. Yeah. When it's a world where all these you just go outside and there's the just drones there. all over the yeah. fucking That'd place delivering shit. That's creepy. Because you know there's gonna be some people out there with bees <laughs> yes, picking off. Well, ooh, that's an Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> what you what you get today? It's like hunting. <laughs> what you gonna get today, there now? <laughs> I got Chick Fil A. I got Chick Fil A. <laughs> some erectile dysfunction pills. <laughs> Shirt. <laughs> Have a good night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, let's see what, what else. Ooh. Uh, drones alone. <laughs> uh, sorry to do this, Tiffany, but speaking of good nights, uh, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish got arrested in Georgia <laughs> early Friday. <laughs> Uh, for DUI, I was gonna say alleged DUI, but the second story that I read, she pretty much admitted to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, arrested in Georgia early Friday for DUI, 2:30 a.m. Officers responded to a 911 call of a <laughs> driver asleep at the wheel in the middle of the road. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, officers officers found a vehicle matching the description. As it pulled into a driveway. Uh, and that's where they found uh, Tiffany Hash. And she was arrested. Uh, put her mug shot up, though. Look at this mug shot. The happiest mug shot I've ever <laughs> seen. She it was, is she went, when she got out, she went and did a show and she made a joke about being arrested. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, it on the news. <laughs> see? Hey. Ain't he got was part of these stories? I didn't get that part. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, but it, I know she was coming from a free Thanksgiving show uh, that she gave, and I guess she got lit. 
and she uh, got real lit. <laughs> she got real lit and uh, was driving and fell asleep, and her Tesla uh, parked itself. Of course, <laughs> so. it drove her all the way parked itself. <laughs> no, 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 in the middle of the street. Yeah. Uh, not yeah, it, in the middle of the street when it realized she was sleeping, it just parked itself. Oh yeah, locked down, whatever. People called it in. She must have woke up prior to the cops coming to yeah. the road where she was and getting her. And she made it home, but that's where the, when they got her is when she was pulling in. Uh, she said she she said she will be getting help, and this is not far off from her last DUI, yeah, which was, was in twenty twenty two. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, she it says she's getting getting help. Uh, she she. I appreciate her uh, as an actor, uh, as a comedian, whatnot. Yeah. Yes, uh, she's I, cool. I saw her prior to her getting famous. Uh, this is probably like 2010, 2011 or something at a small comedy club in Scottsdale. Mm. And you know, the only reason I realized it was her is because. Even then, she was talking about the She Ready and yeah. she was sell, selling the She Ready t shirts. And then when she started getting popping, it was like, man, I seen her. Like, it was probably about 25 people at, at that show. Oh, <laughs> Me and I went so to a show uh, with, oh, with Nate Jackson. Yeah. And it was like five of us in there. Yeah. And now he's huge. 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 <laughs> Uh, this guy where uh, he just got famous. Uh, well, I, I seen him on a podcast. Told our we went and saw him twice yeah. uh, doing stand up. Yeah. But during the stand up, he started like uh, doing like crowd participation and yeah. was like just talking shit about people okay. and people. It, he recorded or his people recorded it and it went on. Uh, out on social media and it just blew up yeah. and now he's selling out everywhere yeah, i think everywhere. he's going on the uh like in europe now and all that stuff okay. um he he did you ever watch that that rock show the show about young young, young rock? rock no all right but he played junkyard dog on yeah. there i think so he played one of the yeah. characters yeah i think it was junkyard dog but uh, yeah, Tiffany Haddish. I uh, hope everything's cool. Yeah, don't know if this is a problem or just dumb decisions. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and admit I did a dumb decision as well. Uh, but learn my lesson and uh, yeah, this we we need to stop shit like this with all the like services, the Ubers, the Lyfts, and all that stuff. Friends, family, buses. Uh, shit, I think there's Uber helicopters depending on where you're at. <laughs> you got enough money. All right, all right, you know in style. But, uh, you, you don't want to be, put yourself in a position as Sonny. Sonny, the, um, ex-WWE wrestler. Uh, where, where, where do I put Sonny's information? Former WWE female wrestler uh, sentenced to 17 plus years in prison for a car accident while drunk. Uh, she killed a 75 year old man. Um, her blood alcohol level was four times the legal limit. Ooh, where was she coming from? <laughs> Uh, we Damn. don't know where she's coming How from. How was she driving she was standing up. Don't know where she was coming from. Don't know where she was coming from. Don't know where she was going. But uh, there was an unsealed bottle of vodka in her car as well. And she had weed in her system. Wow. Uh, but this is... Uh, this this one is a problem because she's been arrested multiple times. Mm. Uh, as a matter of fact, she was in jail like eight months, I think it said. And mm. then four four months after she got out of jail, she got arrested again for a DUI. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she, got that, she, did. Yeah. she got a so, uh, 17 plus years in jail. Um, and then eight years of parole afterward. And she can never legally drive again. Mm -hmm. She should have one of them things where you blow into it before it starts where you can't drive. I, I, don't, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, why, why was that, that not? Yeah. Why was that? All that. But then again, you know, it, it, she might have had it on her car. 
You drive somebody else's car. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Uh, which, yeah. It, wow. Yeah. Uh, somebody lost their life to that stupidity. So, Tiffany Haddish, hopefully, uh, you t- you're not gonna do what. Yeah, get some help before what, she what, get yeah. that bad. <laughs> before you get all uh, to the sunny level. Yes. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, speaking of Tiffany, we're gonna do a t- different Tiffany. Tiffany and Pokemon are in collaboration. So, you can bling yourself up. With some Pokemon jewelry. And uh, my wife has a friend who is all is really about Pokemon. Goes to events overseas for Pokemon Go. Uh, overseas? It, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Uh, I was talking about buying a house or a condo or something. Because the neighborhood had the street names of... Like Pokemon characters. Oh wow! Uh, just uh, yeah, yeah, serious, oh, serious yeah. shit. Oh. Uh, but now you can buy. I think it was like twelve or so different trinkets or pieces at this time uh, that range from one thousand two hundred ninety dollars to twenty nine thousand dollars. Whoa! Uh, collaboration between Tiffany Company. <laughs> And Pokemon. Mm, shit. So, hey, I, I just I, want the ball. I like the ball. I, I, I have a feeling <laughs> at least one of those things going to be bought by uh, my wife's friend. Yeah. Well, I don't believe you're going overseas for some crap. Uh, you have it. Hey. He, whatever it is, they'll have it. Yeah, it's, no, it's that uh, Pokemon Go is yeah. the game on your phone. Mm-hmm. That you go and I, like. Yeah, I had it on my phone. I, yeah. I heard about it. it. It was just popping. It was all over mm. the news, social media. So, like, man, it's always about. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> did it for a while, then just got, got over it. And so, it's not like I ain't saying it. That didn't do it, so I, I I understand what it is, but to be that obsessed with it, mm. I, I am not nah. was not no. But two issues on whatever you know. Yeah, that's your thing. Exactly. Uh, let's see. We're coming to the end here, and I I guess we will end with uh, this volunteer firefighter. This is Joseph Halder. Age 35. Put, put it on me. Oh, okay. give, me, give me a story here. Okay. Joseph Halder, age 35, is a volunteer firefighter in Michigan. His squad was called to put out a fire one Saturday night. While Joseph and other firefighters were putting out the fire, deputies went across the street and watched surveillance from a gas station. After the deputies watched the surveillance, they uh, went across the street and arrested Joseph because they realized he didn't want to set the damn fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. His bail was set for $200,000 and... <laughs> Uh, he's a cute, uh, third degree arson. He faces up to 10 years. And he is also the person of interest in two other fires in the area. Oh, wow. <laughs> he wanted to be a fire. He, he, he needed some work. He needed some work. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I guess he got bored or something. Aww. But, uh, further research, uh, because I get these stories from different outlets, uh, different podcasts, <laughs> TV shows, or when I look for something else, something else cross. But, uh, it stated that this isn't uncommon. There's a lot of firefighters that set fires. I think there was like either 2023 wow. or 2022. At least a hundred fires were set by members of fire departments. 
Wow. They they, the, they need some work. The, they just want something just, to do. Just <laughs> they need some they need some no. Work. They need something Your job to ain't that ain't dangerous enough that you gotta go and set fires? I don't know. But uh last week we had a story about a fire, uh as well. The uh people setting fireworks off on top of a hotel uh not hotel but apartment in Atlanta. Now it's uh a volunteer firefighters <laughs> um, setting fires. Uh, At gas stations. Question, question of the week. Do you have a story about a fire, a bad fire? <laughs> anything, anything fire related? Uh, uh, my anything? house had got on fire. Your your house? In Atlanta, when I yeah. hit that. How did it catch on fire? And it was electrical fire. How much it burned down? What? Uh, totaled the house. Pretty it totaled the house? Pretty much. Your yeah. house burned all the way down. No, it was gutted. Yeah. The whole inside was gutted. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When we first, what, a month to the day we bought the house. Wait a minute. A month after you bought the house. Yep. We are having yeah. the, the house, the house had hardwood floors. So we were yeah. getting the floors done and everything. So we were, uh-huh. had moved our stuff in and was finished get, getting the floors done. Uh-huh. And the guy that was doing the floors called us the morning. We were waking up, getting ready for breakfast and everything. And called you, us you and know told the, us the, the camera should be on you, right? I know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> we were in, when I was in Atlanta and had bought a house, and the we had got the house at Howard Floors. So we were getting the floors done, and we. The next morning, I moved all the stuff in the house, and so we were getting, staying with my mother-in-law and stuff, and we got the phone call from the guy that was doing the floors saying that the house burned down. The and house burned, oh. Yeah, he went to oh. go get his stuff and everything, and it's, when he oh. opened the door, the, you know, so we got dressed and went to the house, and literally as soon, you could, I don't know how they did it, thank God for the, for the fire department. Mm-hmm. But you can use your key to get in. But once you got in, it was... Wait a minute, the, what What was the door made out of? It was a wood door. But, but the way burn. that they they got in, it didn't... Yeah. yeah. But once you opened up the door, it was a whole, whole different scene. You could see the roof. You could see the base. The, yeah, it was... Yeah. And reading the report and everything, they had to actually fight the fire from outside because it was so hot inside. But yeah, it told up the house. So yeah. Yuck. Yep, that's my fire story. Uh, my fire story uh, came uh, walking from your house to the mall in Topeka with your son. And I think Eric was there. Uh, but on the way back, we went to the mall, was coming back. Or maybe it was Jimmy. I don't know. One of them. Might have been Jimmy. I uh, was coming back and, like, you know where... It's like the brown house that was on the corner. And there was, like, uh, woods. And then you go through the woods and go to the mall. When you came back, all that was burning. Ooh. All that was burning. <laughs> So we went back to the mall, told somebody, <laughs> and then had to go further around to come back. But it, it was like just blaze, just it, the biggest fire I ever seen. Especially big, just uncontrolled. So it was like a wildfire. So uh, I have another fire story. Uh oh, what's the fire story? Actually, it was here. Here. Here in Arizona, I was outside. Sitting on the back outside. deck. Outside at the house. <laughs> sitting on the back deck and all of a sudden I heard boom, boom. Look to the right and all we see is nothing but black smoke. There's like a Was that that car that uh, uh, blew place, up on the... that truck place that was sitting Oh the truck place. That was yeah. like a few weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was okay. outside and I literally recorded because you could see all the flames. It took mm-hmm. them forever to get out there, but that fire burnt for a while. It burned for a while, and it was black smoke, and all you hear was boom, things just blowing up over there. So it was like, hope there ain't nobody over there, but there was a <laughs> lot of trucks, a mm. lot of trucks in that parking lot. Do you have any fire stories? 
it was my fire story. <laughs> when I was in Topeka, me and my friend Belinda, we would go to barbecue one day. Oh. So we go out in the backyard and put all the stuff in the little round grill and everything. Put the little paper, call ourselves starting the fire. The wind blew, fire hit the ground. We had a big old hole in the backyard. So we had, oh. well, we had oh. burned the back. I ain't tried to grill since then, but we had to burn the whole big old hole in the backyard. Right. Tried to. <laughs> you said uh, you were trying to light it? it this yeah. was a, It was a charcoal grill. Uh-huh. We had put some paper over in there, you know, for the light it and yeah. get the grill started. And a little wind came and blew some of the paper over and caught the oh. grass on fire. And we, wow. we got it out, but it, we had a big old black hole in the backyard where we had set the yard on fire. Wow. <laughs> and right. I ain't tried to barbecue since. <laughs> it's easy with the little gas grill. You know? yeah, Shit, I probably would have blown up the whole house out of gas grill. <laughs> All right. If you have a fire story, please put it in the comments uh, for this show. Um, once again, thank y'all for coming out. I know uh, y'all just here because y'all might know me, but hopefully you like what you hear, like what you see. Tell somebody about it. Like, subscribe, put your notifications on because we got stuff coming. We got in them streets. We got... Uh, more shows coming to the Mad GIC Entertainment Channel. That's the Magic Entertainment Channel coming to you shortly. Hopefully uh, at the beginning of the year. But we got in them streets. We got some shows, some uh, clips already out there. And we're going to be filming some more tomorrow. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. I still got probably about 12 clips from the previous uh first friday but we going back out there first friday talking to some more crazy asses yes because they fun so if you haven't watched any of the uh yeah, they are fun. the um uh, in them streets it, it's pretty nice so uh thank y'all for coming out thank you who are you again eddie james auntie edda Thank you, Auntie. I absolutely appreciate it. You're welcome. We got who behind the production here? IDC. <laughs> Come back to me. Where is it? Uh, camera one. <laughs> camera one. It's gone. How'd you lose it?